Hey, hey, hey! Big E here! Holden Court, Big E, Vancouver, British Columbia, beautiful BC. Hey, hey, hey! Big E here! From Zen Masters fame, and currently just heading off to my final game today. Playing for the UBC Thunderbird alumni basketball team and friends. Pacific Ocean, that's right, the Pacific freaking Ocean! The Pacific freaking Ocean! Oh! In the house! Two and one so far, we're looking to go three and one for the tournament. <laughs> oh! In the house! Hey, good luck, man. I'm looking forward to going and interviewing some of the top basketball players in the Pacific Northwest. I saw Joey Haywood here yesterday. We got our own Isaiah Solomon. Kids Fest 2017. Howard Kelsey. I'm going to track that m and -er down and we're going to have some rap crew, you know, Chris. Uh, man, oh man, you Vic and Spencer McKay. What is it with the big guys out there on the island? You know, when rugby, those guys are. Uh, <laughs> big E in the house. The house that Howard and Ron built. Uh, Kids Fest goes back, I believe this is the 10th year anniversary. And uh, it's bigger, better than ever. Uh, so, of course, Big E. <laughs> Never one to shy away from those big moments like a twist of performance and wellness. Wow, what an awesome day we have here. Sunday, um, fun day. I think the theme today, you know, I was going to make the theme today love because, you know, I love uh, uh, to use the word love. I'm going to go with uh, deep-rooted feelings. So the theme for uh, holding court today is deep-rooted feelings. Uh, Nations Warriors, we played Friday night with uh, Demetri Harris. Hey man, what's going on? <laughs> oh man, these families, they keep you active, don't they? Yeah. Probably the best workout you can do. A yeah. yeah. um, couple guys were missing, um, no excuses. But I'll tell you, our defense has amped up since then. And uh, these guys, we have a bright future at UBC. And over time, I see those guys and I look them in the eye and I say, you see that competitor out there? That person is Carlton Raven. Everything you've got to be doing is focusing on what can we do to knock off the Carlton Ravens and win the national championship. And that's said in all the utmost respect to Carlton. It has an amazing program. They win friggin' something like 11 out of 14 national championships. Kind of blows Ken Shields' UBIC teams away, which I thought was the gold standard. Eli Pasquale and Dave Sheehan and uh, those five national championships thinking, geez, will that, will that ever be duplicated? And then here we have Carlton coming up and like just obliterating Reiterating it. So Dave Smart, uh, much respect to you and the program out there and thank you for making us better every day UBC because we know that's what it's going to take, a Herculean effort to get up there and get back to the national champion prominence as UBC is doing right now as they are embarking on a Costa Rican tournament playing some great competition. We've got all kinds of players playing the FISU. Connor Morgan is over there with Kevin Hansen and uh, Jordan Jensen White and those guys are just killing it overseas and they're bringing international prominence to basketball again in Canada folks. International prominence. No more of this uh, best team in Canada BS, okay? We're Canada and this is basketball and we're better than that. We're the best in the world and um, we showed it there uh, recently with the U19 championship. <laughs> better, d -Roy. Hey guys, all right, all right. Here, Eric Pulse, an old buddy of mine in the house. What's up, big guy? I know you follow my posts a little bit. You know, but do I, am I annoying as hell or what? We love them. This is my daughter, Madeline, born in the Great Scotland. Tell us your story. How's your, how's your 3D team been doing? Pretty good. We won one, lost one, by a lot, and then lost one, by a so much. Yeah? Yeah? Cool. So, where, where does that put you right now? Do you, are you uh, any more games for the day or are you done? We have one. Okay, so that for like third and fourth or? Wow, that's pretty good. Bronze medal, I believe in the Olympics they do award the bronze medal. Okay, well I'm going around interviewing all the big stars, so I thought I'd start with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so over here we got Max's team, uh, Steve Nash, very good squad, a bunch of these guys, I know them. Jose in the house. Oh yeah, these guys are uh, um, some of the, some of the, uh, you know, I guess they, uh, you know, I guess they. These are the snap on there too. Is that me? Is that me? Basketball. Hey, what do you think? I'm a fun of you. Shout out Ezra Vatter, man. Keeping it real. Hey, Lola, still. Lola, still. Zen Masters. I'm down at Kitts Beach. My man's Marco and George over here. Got yeah, deep rooted feelings is something I have for a lot of these guys. Deep rooted feelings. Hey, man. Deep rooted feelings. Deep rooted feelings, man. What's up? You guys gonna win today or what? Um, I hope so. Uh, it's all weekend, but it's not fun. And you're a hell of a tennis player too. Uh, so so. Hey, oh, Johnny. Johnny, what's up, buddy? Oh, Johnny Paff over here. He's, uh, 
Facebook. He's focused. He's ready. He's got all oh, Facebook Live, Alice. Facebook Live. Okay, what do you got to say to my Twitter nation? What's up, Bo? Bo what's up, Bo? Boy? 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 All right. All right. Who's going to dunk it first? Good group of fellas. Johnny's not taking them under his wing. He's going to be a little bit of a mentor for them. Oh, we got Jacob. We got Nathan in the house over here. Nathan, what's up? Okay, the world wants to know what university has you chosen to go to next? I'm going to Capilano. Oh, so you're playing with these guys? I'm playing with these guys. Oh, yeah, I saw you the other day yeah. play. You played very well. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I, you got to dunk at least one or two dunks so far. Yeah. Nathan's a guy who went to uh, same elementary school I was involved with a coaching program. I was the head coach for four years there. Uh, big shout out to Queen Mary Elementary. What the, you want to get on uh, Facebook Live? All right, Jacob and I have a long history story, and I think it fits our theme today of deep rooted feelings because I had a lot of deep rooted feelings for this young man when I first met him. Uh, not always good, but I'll tell you, talk about a guy who's turned your attitude around 110%, 180%, and now you like guys really want to play with you because you're a really good basketball player. So, what do you got to say for yourself? <laughs> you heard it here for first, folks. Kentucky, he has made his commitment. All right. I'm going to get that on the Twitter universe right away. Oh, we got TR. Oh, Luke Morris, one of the guys I mentioned in the house. Facebook Live. What's up, Luke? What's up, You going to win today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Win, win, boys. Win. Yes, sir. I met all these guys at uh, Rivers University in uh, beautiful Kamloops, British Columbia. There's been a lot of forest fires up there. It's been a difficult year. These guys are pulling together because they're a strong, united team. They've got unbelievable leadership. Scott Clark um, has been uh, there, made, uh, turned the uh, school for the first time ever into a national contender. Uh, they've been over the last few years, they've been ranked in the top 10 in, in, in Canada. And it's a true testament to Scott and the people that he brought in, like my man Luke Morris, who you may or may not know is uh, the son of Peter Morris, one of the greatest basketball players in, uh, in uh, Canadian uh, ba Masters basketball history with, I believe, three world championships to his title. Uh, I've only got one. Also a lot of volleyball action. Kids Fest has expanded this year to include so many activities, so many sports. It's really uh, almost like a health and wellness expo, and uh, I'm proud to be a part of that. Um, although I'm not affi affiliated with officially. Yeah, your right heel's up. Oh, Jen writes, sweet! Hey, all right, Jen, I will tell Howard, you say hi. Jen's doing some incredible work. I love uh, people, and sorry, let me rephrase that. I have deep-rooted feelings for people like Jen, not only with their ties to UBC, but Jen also does some terrific work down in Haiti. I see her always on there, educating, inspiring, learning, and um, being a part of the culture down there. And, such an awfully uh, torn uh, apart area, like so many parts of the world are, and it's gonna be up to people like you and me to come together and make a difference and start uh, giving a shit again about our culture, our society. We are playing UBC to go three and one and to finish off strong. Oh, 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 here we go, we got, hey Misty. Awesome. Hey, what's going on? Some of the unsung heroes there, the most amazing pictures of all time. <laughs> Facebook Live with the Facebook man himself. And you got any good stories about Misty Thomas from back in the day over there? No, I'm sworn to secrecy. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Jim, you're a good man. How's it going so far? For I got you? stories about Howard, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, how many years in a row now have you been the official photographer? I've been here since 2009. Nice, nice. Wow. It's so, it's so cool the shots you put up. And, well, thank you. Uh, they last a lifetime. So, awesome. on behalf of all the fans, thank you so much, Jim, for all that you do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Oh, Ron Putsy though. Ron is not afraid of the camera. He, but he's like, Eric, what are you doing with those guys? Get over here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Kim Bond, ladies and gentlemen. Kim Bond, one of the greatest personal trainers of all time. Aren't you in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No, soon. Personal trainer, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You should. Be. Okay, here we are. Facebook Live Kids Fest 2017. Mm -hmm. Dylan, how are you? I'm the Big E, man. So how's, how's your team been doing this weekend? I know she sent me a, I, I sent a message like, you gotta watch my son play, he's really good. Yeah. How good are you? You won your last game. You won your last game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so is that it? You done now? Yeah. Did you guys win those uh, funky sunglasses for winning that game or what? No, they're Got it from Hive. Hive has been an awesome sponsor down here. Is it? Fantastic. Smart homes. Oh, Everybody needs one. Spoken like a true corporate <laughs> spokesperson. Yes, it was awesome. You want to move three? One and three? Well, yeah. yeah. I've been down here played 0 and 4 before, man, so I know the feeling. I know the thing. It's called the toilet bowl. You're the last day, you're the last second, last place. You don't not want the toilet bowl. Well, that's 
one bowl you do not want to receive. So good for you, man. That means a lot. And uh, how's your season looking coming up? Tell me a little bit about promoting your, uh, your, your uh, teammates. And... We're ranked 11 in the first season. Yeah, and that's what age? Is that senior? Yeah. And is that which age? Uh, quad A. Quad A? Yeah. Are you serious? That's the top. Yeah. And Vancouver, BC has some of the greatest basketball in Canada and is the U19 guy showed in the world. Yes. So good job, you man. That's go. awesome. Nice. Launch yourself right here on Facebook Live. What what school have you chosen to bring your talents to in 2018, 2019? SFU. SFU? Yeah. All right. Good, uh, good, good choice. Good choice. Okay, Matt. Well, good luck. Nice, uh, nice talking to you, Kim. Always a pleasure. All right. Let's check in some of the game action. That's uh, Three Rivers University. Oh, taking it strong. All right, I come down with some of my favorite Met ballers. Okay, here we go. We are got the SB battle. Junior team, or are you on the senior team yet? Yeah. Junior and senior. Are you Isaac or Isaiah? Isaac. Okay, <laughs> okay, fellas. So, uh, what's the uh, weekend been like so far? We just had a game and we won. Yeah. So we did good. Have you been winning out so far? Yeah. So you're we're supposed to have one game, one more game at three. And then. Pick up. That's you and my back. Yeah, as you're about to consider it. <laughs> and hey, if you're playing on, on Sunday still, it's not the toilet bowl, you're in a good place, right? You do not want to play with the toilet bowl. Yeah. Right, and uh, what about uh, you said you might go down to the states uh, when you get a school or what? Yeah. Do you want to make any announcements on my to my Twitter universe? Thousands of people watching right now. Nothing yet. Nothing oh, yet. nothing yet. TV, TV, TVG. Okay. Oh, we got one of the legendary referees of all time, Mike Weissman, over here. This is live. This is Facebook Live. I've got one of the greatest referees in the history of British Columbia, Mike Weissman, to let you know what a great guy he is and how much he's contributed to basketball. And once in a while, when I've been playing, when he's been refereeing, he's got the calls right, so I'll have to give him some credit there. <laughs> Whew, different folks and different strokes, and that's what makes basketball beautiful. It brings together so many different uh, people and cultures and personalities. Uh, there's so much creativity in basketball. I guess that's what I really like about uh, how it's not just for people that are into uh, pure athleticism, but also that have some of that arts, that uh, creativity that they always think they got to choose the arts or they got to choose sports. And um, when you're in basketball, every single time down the floor, it's like it's a new Picasso. You know, you're painting a picture, and, and that's why I just hate it when guys go too much one on one and they just butcher that painting. When is if you, when you pass the ball and you share the ball and you uh, give confidence to each other by saying. In effect, you know, I believe that you're going to make that shot. I mean, if you have a choice to create, you know, 10 beautiful passes of goodwill versus zero, you know, why wouldn't you take the, the former, you know? So that's some of the uh, cerebral part of the game and why I love basketball so much and uh, why I'm such a big fan of Kids Fest and, uh, and all the healthy look. Now, oh, it's me, that's me battle, keep it real. That's so cool. It's Beautiful Sunday afternoon, August 20th, 2017. Hello! Oh, we got the largest supplier of exogen ketones in the world. Exogenous ketones. Oh, exogenous. <laughs> Kids Fest sponsors, what do you guys got here? 2016 product of the year, that's crazy! I'm telling you. What? What is it? It's, it's an exogenous ketone, it puts your body in Oh my goodness. And do I want my body put into ketosis Absolutely. in less than an hour? Yeah. Absolutely. Better energy, better is it? sleep, better is it? Oh. Okay, cool. Well, my problem is less energy because uh, I'm the Big E! <laughs> I'm Big E here. I think I scared there a little bit. I'm sorry. But I'm stoked. I gotta go over and see DJ Dave now. Oh, my favorite yoga. Look at this. We got all the best forms of, uh, of, of sport and conditioning in the house. We got some yoga going on over here. players, volleyball, tennis, water polo, oh my goodness, there's so much kinetic energy in here. What are you cheering for? Oh yeah. yeah. Alright, have a good one. DJ Dave, oh hey fellas, what's up? Facebook Live. No girls with you, are you? Oh, you don't want to get busted. Okay, good, good, good. Catch some of the tunes. My man DJ Dave, he's burning it up, you guys, Saturday night. Burn, baby, burn. This going for no soul train. Oh, 
Hey Dave, what's up for Facebook Live? Just wanted to give you a little plug-in shout out. Some technical difficulties and hangovers. Other than that, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, Great yeah. turnout yesterday was amazing. Oh yeah, the music. I just loving this music. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> right on cue, brother. All right, all right. We, we missed you last night, Eric. I know. <laughs> My body couldn't freaking move. I got home and it locked up on me. I played two games. I went for a swim. I did yoga, and uh, but I love visiting you. Burn, baby, burn, burn it. Oh, you go visit him, Soul Train, Whoa. Saturday nights. Yeah, maybe not, but we'd love to see you. <laughs> all right, all right, see you later. Ooh, unbelievable, this the physicality when you got that 10 big athletic bodies on that small court like that. The refs don't like a whole lot. You know, you better bring your battle, battle armor out there. It's a great opportunity for the colleges, the university, the high school, young, young people uh, to really work on their, the physicality of their games and to really uh, amp up their performance. Uh, because when you can just be uh, really chaotic out there, cause a lot of turnovers, have a lot of energy on defense, a lot of good things happen. And uh, especially in the wind, you know, the key to playing down here is uh, turnovers, quick baskets, layups, and not three-pointers, you know. I think the, the teams that live and die by the three-pointer, <laughs> as many teams uh, this tournament have found out, um, typically die. And, uh, the key to basketball is making it simple. It's really no different than just hanging out with your friends or uh, in what you do. Keep it, keep it simple, stupid, and uh, all things will uh, make sense. And when we start overcomplicating things, uh, we start getting ourselves in trouble. Biggie, I'm gonna be checking out here. I got a major, major uh, final game to play with UB Thunderbirds. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Spencer McKay, Tommy Nixon, Kevin Hansen, for giving me the opportunity, Biggie, to uh, play in this uh, very prestigious of tournaments. Uh, Kids Fest 2017. And again, big shout out Howard Kelsey, uh, uh, Ron, all you guys, uh, Ron Putsy. Thanks so much, fellas, for putting on an unbelievable performance. Preparation breath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run, run, run. Oh, yeah. 